Hello students, this is Sir Sankar and today we will again here with the same lesson uh, and in this uh, lesson we have already started um, my elder brother and we have completed <coughs> uh, more than half of these lesions up to here yes in the previous class we stopped here when his uh, when bhaiya he is called it munna uh, because of uh, not studying on a regular basis so that's why he is called it him he always uh, being found uh, playing with his friends sitting idle with his friends and <clears throat> playing marbles flying kites always every time no here and there but not uh, um, studying at home so this is uh, why uh, his uh, brother bhaiya he is called it munna and after that munna he starts crying and he told his uh, bhaiya that he now was feeling that want to go away his home <coughs> by leaving everything no he wanted to go home so after that bhaiya he told him this uh, now he stopped crying i will make you a proper timetable and you just follow this timetable then everything will be fine and here a timetable is there you can see okay you can see here a timetable is there and he will wash uh, his hands at 6 am then he will have his breakfast and sit down to his study you know and uh, then 6 to 8 am what subject he will study english then 8 to 9 maths is there then 9 to 9 30 history then after that maybe he will go to his school then when the school will over then again from 3 30 uh, what 5 to 6 no 5 to 6 he will study grammar then half an hour for strolling then again 6 30 to 7 uh, english uh, compositions then dinner translation hindi so all this uh, <coughs> you know uh, this uh, schedule he had made for his brother schedule he has uh, made for his brother okay so you can see this one here in the table after that munna he asked his brother that uh, where is the time to play then bhaiya he told that now exam maybe is near or you have to follow this timetable you have to follow the schedule and no need uh, of any time uh, for play now and munna he said that whenever i used to be in fields or uh, green fields uh, i love that gentle breeze gentle breeze means that gentle wind you know and <clears throat> he want to like uh, he want to jump like a football uh, he want to touch and uh, he love that sound of the kabaddi and he also uh, love that volleyballs that everything you know all this it pulls him like a magnet it pulls him like a pulls means kitchen so pulls him like a magnet and he also told his brother his a uh, munna or oh, sorry his a uh, bhaiya his elder brother that whenever he uh, is in the field he forget everything he forget everything so he is in a relaxed mind so he get that peace you no know, that solace that uh, happiness no in the field only so that's why he said to his brother that whenever i uh, am no on the field that i use i forget everything so i become very relaxed so after that in scene two what happened the final exams are over and the results are out now bhaiya he said alas I have failed once again. So the bhaiya, the elder brother, he failed again. Okay. Then Munna, but bhaiya, I have passed. And 
top my class now there is only two years difference between us now munna he topped the class he was not reading he was always been uh, found in the field you no know, playing uh, wasting his times but also he topped the class and now he is just two years difference uh, between uh, what his brother so just two years different okay away from his uh, brother if the brother elder brother is in class 8 now he is in class 6 so only two years difference now but my dear brother bhaiya he said but my dear brother don't be so proud don't be so proud proud is not good you have passed only one class and you think that i am stupid and you are smart once in a while in a gully danda game you might get lucky and hit a goal but that does not mean you have mastered a game you have to work hard to be successful in life when you have to study a subject like algebra or geometry in higher classes then you will understand the importance of hard work so he said that to his brother that don't be so proud this is uh, just uh, maybe you passed or topped the class just by chance no in a, he has given one example about the gilly danda so in a gilly danda uh, sometimes luckily no uh, you can hit it properly you can hit luckily you can hit a goal but again it does not mean that you are the master you are the champion all the time you have mastered that game no so that's why you should not be proud you must keep on work hard you must be keep on uh, working hard to be successful in life to be successful in our life we, we must work hard we must continue no we should not say that now it is okay so we should not feel proud we should not uh, after getting success no or anything achievement so we should not bring all those things on our head so it will now uh, what press us and make us down okay so we should not do this when you have to study again another example he has given to his brother that if you are studying like algebra or geometry in higher classes then you will understand the importance of hard work then only you will understand the importance of what hard work so now you are in class 5 or 6 no not that much higher classes so that difficult task you are not getting but when you will be in higher classes that difficult task no the lesson the subjects you will get and then you will understand that why that hard work is important he tell these things to his brother and again he is saying that in geometry if one writes acb instead of abc the answer mark wrong so if you are writing in geometry uh, acb in the place of abc then the answer will mark what wrong in geometry and the examiners will not spare you they want you to learn word by word from the text word by word from the text the examiners will not spare you spare you means they will not leave you spare you means they will not leave you spare means not leave you so the examiners will not leave you they uh, they want you to learn word by word from the text what the examiner want they want the students that they should read no they should learn word by words from the text and and after that bhaiya munna he said oh bhai sahab this is scary i don't think i want to go to the ninth class now but i will still complete my days from work so that i get no punishment in class so he said that now i am not in class nine or okay i am not in class nine and my work is only is what to complete my days from work so that i get no punishment in the class so he 
Munna, he only wants that he should complete uh, whatever the works assigned by the teacher to him. He should do that. And he should not, uh, he was saying that to his brother that I will not think about now, I will not think about the higher classes. No, he is not there. So he only think that he should not get punishment in the class. So that's why he is doing everything what the teachers uh, has given him to do. He said this to his brother. So, Bhaiya, he said, Just today we were asked to write a short essay on the topic of punctuality in four pages. And imagine, can something be written on four pages and still be short? It is also mixed up. So, maybe Bhaiya, he got uh, that what one work one class work uh, at school that what work he got that a short essay write a short essay on the topic of punctuality what uh, he got a short essay teacher is given one essay writing about punctuality and that should be written in four pages and he was just wonder he surprised that how we can write no about punctuality in four pages and even after writing four pages also it is they are saying that a short essay how can be a short no he just surprised this and munna is, was saying thinking aloud he was thinking and said thank god it was time for the school or else the scolding would have gone on and on he said that to his brother that thank god now we have to go now it's time for the school otherwise i have to listen so many things from brothers he said scolding will go and on ye gali galoch no chalte rehta agar school ka waqt nahi hota to that's why he thanks god again now in the second in the <coughs> what in the scene three this scene three my dear students we will see uh, in the next class what will happen uh, in scene 3 that we will see in the next class so today I he stopped here and hope you understood what I said today and today day 2 uh, day 1 the previous day that is yesterday it is done and today day 2 some parts we have completed and in the day 3 that will be our last class of this lesson so I stopped here. Take care. Stay home. Have a good day. Thank you very much.